Hey guys, don't you just hate it when you filmed a really great video and then you go home and you go through the footage and you notice that, uh, you, you notice that you're done texting? Thank you. Um, where was I? Um, well, don't you just hate it if you filmed a really amazing video and then you go through your footage and you notice that, uh, well, you, you notice that Well, then you notice that you have some really irritating noise on your audio track. This has happened to me quite a number of times, especially with mobile phones receiving messages even while on silence or different hums and buzzes in the background that you may not notice while you're shooting. Fortunately, in most cases, there is a pretty easy way to get rid of the offending noise using Adobe Audition and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. Here we are in Adobe Audition and I have not yet imported the audio file that we are going to work with. I realized that this is my very first tutorial for Adobe Audition and if you would like me to create an absolute beginner tutorial for Adobe Audition, just leave me a comment down below. Fortunately, removing noise in Adobe Audition is actually really easy, so even if you have not yet used the software before, don't worry, you'll be fine. Here I have the raw audio file that I recorded for the intro of this video called Noisy Audio. To open the audio file in Adobe Audition, simply drag and drop it into the editor. Adobe Audition will display the waveform for the audio file and similar to Premiere Pro, you can simply click in the editor to place the timeline indicator and then press space to play the audio back. I did just hate it if you filmed a really amazing video and then you go through your footage and you notice that, uh, well, you, you notice that. Notice how clearly you can actually see the noise in this waveform. This section here, simply click and drag to highlight, contains the high-pitched buzzing sound from the light in the background. Press space to play the section back. Yep, nice and annoying. And over here on the left side, you can clearly see the mobile phone interference. By the way, control mouse wheel up and down zooms in and out of your audio file in case you're wondering. Let's play this particular section back. This is that, uh, you, you notice that and you can clearly see the blips from the mobile phone interference mixed in with our audio. Before we get to removing these offending noises, I do have to state that Adobe Audition is not magic. While Adobe Audition can identify and remove the noise from your audio, if there's a lot of noise or very loud noise overpowering the audio in your track, stripping out all of the noise will also strip away from the original audio. This can lead to your final results sounding rather strange, artificial and thin. So use this tool with caution, but in most cases you can get a much better result coming out than going in. For now, simply because it's easier, let's first fix up the buzzing from the light bulb. Let's zoom out and let's go to the section where we have the really annoying buzzing from the light bulb. Let's play this back one more time because it's so enjoyable. Beautiful. So let's get rid of this offending noise. In order to remove noise from your audio, you will first have to teach Adobe Audition which parts of your audio represent the noise. Adobe Audition can then understand and learn the structure of your noise and strip that particular pattern out of the rest of your audio. To remove this irritating buzz, let's first select a section of the waveform that represents just the noise we want to get rid of. Make sure you don't include this section here where I'm breathing out, you just want to select the noise only, maybe about here. Let's play the section back. Yep, that's a good length of just the noise. And now go over into effects and under noise reduction and restoration you will find the sound remover. Now you will also find a noise reduction effect but personally I find that the noise reduction effect usually has a stronger negative impact on the audio and makes it sound a little bit artificial. So personally, I much prefer to use the sound remover. Let's pop open the sound remover. When you bring up the sound remover, Adobe Audition will display a second waveform under your original audio that shows you what the audio would look like after processing. Now, remember how I said that we need to teach Adobe Audition what our noise looks like? Well, there's a button in the sound remover effect called Learn Sound Model. Before you press this, make sure you select a section of just the noise that you want to get rid of. And once you've done that, which we already have, 
click on the Learn Sound Model button. Now if we go back a little bit on our original audio track and play the section back. Footage and you notice that, uh, well, you, you notice that. Well, you may notice that there is no noise. The whole buzzing sound is just gone. Also, if you look into the preview editor for the sound remover, you'll notice that where we had noise before, there's just silence. Adobe Edition has simply analyzed and understood the pattern of your noise and stripped it from the entire audio. Now, there are additional settings in the sound remover effect like the sound model complexity or the content complexity, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. The only option that I always recommend leaving enabled if you're stripping noise from an audio where someone is talking is the option to enhance for speech. This will reduce the negative impact on the sound remover effect on any speech in your audio. In order to apply the sound remover effect, simply click into the editor again, press Ctrl A to select the entire audio, zoom back out and you can see we've got the entire clip selected and then hit apply. Obviously, you can also just select the section of your audio file where you want to apply the noise remover process to. Personally, unless I know the process will have a huge negative effect on the sound, I like to apply the effect to the entire file just to keep the sound consistent. Now, we can still see the mobile phone interference on the left, but where we used to have the light buzzing sound, there's nothing. And if you play back this section... Well, you, you notice that... you will notice that there is no noise. I did indicate that while Adobe Audition is really great at removing noise, there are some situations in which your audio track is actually going to be negatively impacted. To show you an example of that happening, let's try to remove the mobile phone interference. Let's zoom in on the interference and just play this back so you remember what it sounded like. You notice that, uh, you, you notice that, you're done texting? We are going to apply the exact same steps that we followed when we removed the buzzing sound. So first, let's zoom in on a section of the audio where we can hear just the noise. I want to try to find one that's as long as possible, which is probably this one over here. It's still pretty short though. Before we remove this noise, let me show you something cool and bring up the frequency display. You can bring up the frequency display for your audio in Adobe Audition by going to the bottom of the waveform editor and just pulling up this tab here. This may look rather strange and foreign, but all it is is the audio track represented in frequencies. Down at the bottom, you have the low frequencies, so the low sounds, and all the way up the top, you have the very high frequencies. The intensity or the brightness on this display indicates how strong the signal is at that particular frequency. So right here, this one, this is one of the mobile phone beeps. You can see there's quite a strong signal in the lower frequencies and it thins out towards the top end. You can actually select a section of your audio directly in the frequency display simply by selecting the time selection tool and dragging in your frequency display. So this section here represents just our mobile phone noise. Let's play the section back. Beautiful. And again, let's go into effects noise reduction and restoration and bring up the sound remover. Again, we can see the preview down here at the bottom, but we don't really need to see it. Um, notice how these two displays are actually linked up in terms of how much of the waveform or the frequency display you can see. Not that it matters all that much. And let's go over into the sound remover effect and click on learn sound model. Let's zoom out a little bit on our waveform, go back a little bit and let's play this back. You done texting? Thank you. Uh... Where was I? Uh... Interestingly enough, if you compare the two frequency displays for our original audio to the one that is being previewed for the sound remover, you'll notice that a lot of these really bright blips, the mobile phone interference, are pretty subdued in the final signal. Now, they're not completely gone, but they're a lot weaker. And when we're playing back this audio, you can really hear how strongly the mobile phone interference has been reduced. Uh, where was I? Uh, well. You notice that, uh, you, you notice that, you done texting? Now, it's still there a little bit, I can still hear a little blip at the bottom, but in comparison to the original noise, it's much, much better. Again, let's click into the audio editor, press Ctrl A to select the entire clip, and let's hit apply. And let's also push back the frequency display, so we can just see the original audio file, and again, have a look at this. This is where we used to hear all of our mobile phone interference. 
As I said, there's still a tiny, tiny bit left, but let's play this back. You notice that, uh, you, you notice that you're done texting. Now, that is a lot better. However, I do notice that my voice does sound a little bit artificial. Don't you just hate it when you film a really great video and then you go home and you go through the footage and you notice that? Now, again, it's subtle, but it is there and it is caused by the fact that Adobe Edition removed anything from the audio track that looked like the noise pattern that we taught it. If you have noise that is quite strong or that is mixed in with your audio, the more of the audio is going to be impacted and potentially sound a little bit artificial when Adobe Edition tries to remove anything that looks like noise. Adobe Edition is a very powerful tool and I hope that this tutorial gave you a first look at its capabilities by showing you how easy it is to remove some offending noise from your audio. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you want to see more cool visual effects and filmmaking tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash surface studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.